Jocelyn Alt, founder of Ohana. Breastfeeding has lots of health benefits and can be a wonderful time of bonding with your new son or daughter, but it is also often a learning process for both mom and baby. Today I'm going to show you a few positions for breastfeeding that can really help you get a good latch and get you off to the right start in the first few weeks after your baby is born. The first position is called the cross cradle, and it's one of the best for a mom just learning to breastfeed because of the control it gives you to help guide your baby. To do the cross cradle, you hold the baby's head in your right hand if you're breastfeeding on the left hand side with your thumb and your index finger just below the baby's ears on its neck. You position the head near the breast and with your thumb and forefinger you can help guide and control the baby's head to position its mouth appropriately. And with your left hand you can move the breast to help facilitate that good latch as well. The second position is called the cradle. And this is the position that you most typically think of when you think of cradling a baby. So again, if you're breastfeeding on the left hand side, you hold the baby's head in your elbow with the feet in your left hand and you position the baby's head like this for breastfeeding on that side. This is more difficult if you haven't yet gotten the hang of breastfeeding because you have a lot less control with your elbow than you do with that hand and also you have less control with your hand on the breast as uh, you do in the cross cradle hold. The third hold is called the football hold and this is a wonderful hold for moms who may have had a cesarean birth because there's no pressure or contact with the baby across that abdominal area. To do the football hold, you hold the baby's head in a similar way as with the cross cradle, but when you're on the left hand side, this time you hold the baby's head in your left hand and put the baby's head underneath your arm like this and the baby's mouth breastfeeds on that left hand side being held in that left hand, again, keeping the abdominal area completely clear. And the last position is called the side lying position. This is a wonderful position for times when you need to get some rest and you also want to breastfeed your baby. So to do the side lying position, you lie down on your side and hold the baby in the crook of your arm with the baby's front facing toward your front and the baby can breastfeed while you're lying down. You can also use a pillow to support your arm during any of these positions. Cross cradle, cradle, etc. So these are just a few positions to get you started in your breastfeeding. You'll find that once you get the hang of it, there are lots of positions that can work for you. So if you find one that's particularly good, please drop us a note or leave us a post on our Facebook page. You can find more tips for expecting a new parents at our website at www.ohanaparents.com and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.